Okay, hello everyone. Let's say you have a PCB that you're already laid out, you have all the traces laid out, and you have all the footprints, but you just want to change one footprint, right? Well, sometimes when you do the netlist or when you create a new netlist and then you generate the PCB again, everything goes blank and then you have to place everything again. But I'll show you how to avoid that. All you have to do is when you're in Capture CIS, Firstly, make sure you close your PCB, by the way. Okay, when you're in Capture CIS or Capture, make sure you save your schematic. And then when you make, a, say, a change to your footprint for one of your components or something like that, just go like you normally would to the page, Tools, Create Netlist. And instead of leaving this blank, instead of leaving this blank, what you would do is actually go to the browse button here select the PCB that you want to make the changes for choose output board file as the same name or a new name if you want then click OK to regenerate the PCB with the new changes what that'll do is keep your old uh, tra traces and your uh, components and then it'll make any changes to the PCB like you desire. This way you don't have to repeat all the steps you did in the first place and you get, voila, the same PCB. Okay, so that's just a quick tip for you guys and happy designing.